Who am I really? You might know me as Kenji, the data science YouTuber, but am I really qualified to give advice online? Am I really worth listening to? I have doubts about that myself. While I work in data science and I have the advanced degrees, I haven't personally applied for a job in the field in over two years. Can I really give people advice about how to break in with any real substance behind it? I also don't do much deep learning in my work or in my projects. I think that this is an integral skill going forward. And can I call myself a data scientist if I don't have expertise in that path? I really don't know. These are some of the doubts that I personally have. And if I'm feeling these things, I can't imagine the burden of doubt that people are bearing that are new to the field, that really are clueless about what's going on and don't have any grasp of how much they know compared to other people. It's a really scary place to be in. In this video, I'll get honest with doubt in data science, otherwise known as imposter syndrome. I'll talk about some of my biggest insecurities in the field. And while these things can weigh you down, there is a bright side. I'll also talk about how I was able to leverage these feelings of inadequacy is something truly positive. Data science is a field filled with doubt. Not all the problems we tackle have answers and not all of our models will be successful. I would argue that in truth, we fail more than we succeed. Real world data science is almost the exact opposite of academia. In school, most people succeed far more than they fail. They're used to getting high marks routinely. They're definitely not used to only passing a class half of the time. I think that this conditioning makes it difficult for us to accept failure when it comes more frequently like it does in data science. And failure can come almost 98% of the time if we're talking about job applications. The abundance of failure in data science relative to academics it's given rise to imposter syndrome. This is the idea that you aren't good enough or that if you've landed a job, you don't belong in the position. And this is not to be confused with being addicted to playing the game mm -hmm. among us. That's uh, me being hip, you know? I think it's really easy to feel like others in the field are a lot smarter than you or that they understand things better. I personally feel this way all the time. I routinely speak to data scientists through interviews and it always seems like they're doing cooler things and working on more complex projects than I am. I felt this way just a few weeks ago when I interviewed my friend, Jeff Lee. This video will be coming out, I think in a couple weeks here. He just landed a new position and had gotten six to seven job offers through his application process. Here I am talking about landing a job on YouTube and what you can do, but he went ahead and did this in his real life. Would I be able to come close to that success rate if I was applying now? I, I honestly, I doubt it. <laughs> Many of you look up to me but the fact is that even at my stage, I'm still getting these feelings. And I hate to break it to you, at least for me, these feelings never go away. Again, I still feel imposter syndrome and I was far more prepared for failure associated with data science than most people. A huge part of my life revolves around golf and in that sport, even the best player in the world has won less than 20% of the tournaments that he entered. There are plenty of players that go their whole careers without winning a single professional event. Trust me, I was already used to failing. Still, my doubts have continued to weigh on me, even with all this practice. The strange thing is, over time, I began to kind of like this feeling. Since in each stage of my life, this feeling has never gone away or even come close to easing up, I really doubt it'll ever go away. Why don't I just embrace it? I find that imposter syndrome is a huge motivating factor to continue learning and to prove myself worthy. I have issues with relying on motivation in general, and you can see that in my video linked above. But if I'm ever struggling with it, I can tap into my doubts to push myself forward. Maybe I'm a masochist, but I think that you can also learn to enjoy this feeling. Without a doubt, the field of data science requires constant growth and learning. This could be your hidden tool in your utility belt that allows you to stay on track with your personal development. There's also some evidence that people that feel they have something to prove really produce better work. I have more on this in my interview coming up with Richard on data. Richard and a few other YouTubers have also made videos on this topic, and I highly recommend checking them out. I've linked them below. Imposter syndrome is the opposite of what's known as the Dunning-Kruger effect. Dunning-Kruger happens when people don't have a true skill or intelligence in an area. These people tend 
when they don't have the skill to overestimate their capabilities. Imposter syndrome, again, is the flip side. If you're doubting your abilities, you likely have more aptitude than you think. Hopefully this video helps you to better understand the doubt that you're feeling. Although I can't guarantee that it'll ever go away, again, it hasn't for me, I know for a fact that you can make it work for you to push your data science learning to the next level. As usual, thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.